hundred percent agree. But and I think there's already examples out there, but those are not the examples that are praised, right? Like I think yeah. and a lot of times from a from an early age, you could take from the kid in the front of the class compared to the kid in the back of the class. The kid in the front of the class get clowned on, right? He gets called the know it all or the nerd or the dork. The dude in the back of the class, maybe who's doing the spitballs, whatever the case is, he might be more uh revered at school. He might have more bitches at the lunch table. He might have more homies. I think at a younger age, from a young age, we learn that if we do bad, we get praised more than mm. if we do mm. good. So I feel like that's what starts to trickle down as to why, okay, I'm going to go do this instead of do that. Because look at bro over here. He's cool, but he ain't really got no bitches. His clothes, you know, you know what I mean? He might not have a swag. He might not have the bravado that is very important in our culture. That's one of the number one things that we lead with. So when you're looking at it, yeah, we could put these people on all day, but it's not an attractive thing. Even though I feel like to a lot of us, because it doesn't have the certain look I, I, that, that we want in our culture. I this think that's idea more of, like some movie shit, though. Like, I'm just that's the back programming. I was Nigga, school, that's the bro. program. That's where I was doing. Niggas wasn't just picking on the nerds. Like, oh, I'm not, and I'm nerds. Not saying, pick, pick, like, I'm not saying no, no, no. I know, no, I know yeah, what yeah, you're yeah. saying. It's not attractive. But just the movies that make it seem that way. Like, Revenge of the Nerd type shit. Like, mm. nah, we actually was on niggas who was picking on the nerds. Like, nigga, it's niggas out here in the field. Who signed up for this Hunger Games that we playing? Why are you picking on him? You don't get no cool points. So a lot of the street niggas was protecting the nerds. A lot of the jocks and the football players was protecting the nerds. But in the movies, you'll think we were stuffing these niggas That's in lockers. The like, that That's shit wasn't really going on like I, that. I think we've been we've been conditioned with this this another program. You know, applications. We got a whole fucking iPhone app, like programming. We we've been conditioned with this idea that what is healthy for us is for white people. Right, we don't say truth is for white people. We say snitches get stitches. We we don't say motherfucking uh you know uh education is for white people. We say nigga, I ain't no nerd, nigga. <laughs> like what the fuck? Like it's it's levels to this shit, and it's all like disguised within the language and the programming. Because the more we see, ain't no smart niggas. Like bro, we've been in rooms where motherfuckers just because of our complexion, just because of our complexion. We're no longer valid to the conversation that they're right. having. We're not intellectual enough. Let's, we let's, talk about that let's, all the time. Let's take nerd out of it. Let's say class clown. So a lot of times a class clown will be smart, right? But mm -hmm. he will be the class clown just because you get more, um, I feel like, eyes on you. You get, you get more affirmation from being a class clown instead of the person who tries to go to, you know, the more quiet, maybe straight and narrow way. And I feel like that is a theme within our culture. But a lot of that clown? be personality traits too, though. Some